Hi everyone, I'm Frank Somerville. I felt compelled this week to talk about Officer Mike Johnson. He's the San Jose police officer who was shot and killed in the line of duty. I posted on my Facebook page something this week that was written by a former San Jose police officer and, and the response has been overwhelming. It's reached a million people, 14,000 likes, a uh, thousand comments, 10,000 shares. And whether you like police or don't like police, whether you've had good experiences or bad experiences with police, I really think the letter is worth listening to. I really do. And afterward, I'm going to read you a response from a black gentleman who's had bad experiences with police. It was really something what he shared. I'll get to that in a moment. First, though, here's a condensed version of the letter that was written by the former San Jose police officer. It's my hope that Mike Johnson's senseless death will remind us all of the humanity in police work. Can we honor Mike's memory by putting aside our agendas to find common ground? Approximately 800,000 people serve as law enforcement officers in this country. A very small percentage of this group do not deserve the badge or our trust. They're bigots, crooks, or mentally ill. But those officers should not drown out what is truly worthy of note. We confront danger so you don't have to. We run to gunfire and death and tragedy to insulate you from it. Mike paid the ultimate price, but many of us wear the physical scars of assault. We wear these scars so that you don't have to. Last night, officers had to step around Mike's body to put their lives at risk, evacuating residents of the suspect's apartment complex. Today, they're expected to go back to work, to compartmentalize, to overcome, and to execute their sacred trust undiminished. Honor Mike's life and his sacrifice by remembering that we, the police, are an imperfect collection of humans united by a devotion to an institution. If Mike's mortality could remind us all of our humanity, then his death can stand for something. As I said, there were a lot of responses, and one of them came from a black gentleman, and I'm going to read you exactly what he wrote, because I thought it was just beautifully written. I am a black man who's had a number of bad experiences with cops. I've been racially profiled. I've been taunted by officers. But after reading this, I have to say, I was touched. Do I think more can be done from officers to end blue on black crime? Yeah. Do I think every officer is out to kill me? No. We all officers included, can do more to bring peace and equality. And then he said, I was very moved by this letter. For the first time in my life, I feel like I understand the pain and the stress that officers go through. Rest in peace to every real hero, blue or not. To me, that's how you start dialogue. That's how you start healing from all of this. It's one person at a time. As I always like to say, we're all pieces of the same puzzle, and I really believe that. So stay strong this week, and I'll see you again next week.